Welcome to Peace Evangelical Lutheran Church. I am Pastor Michael Barnes, welcoming you on these evenings before Christmas as we celebrate and remember the O Antiphons. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh Adonai, and ruler of the house of Israel, who appeared to Moses in the burning bush, and gave him the law on Sinai. Come with an outstretched arm, and redeem us. A reading from Isaiah chapter 33. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from Exodus chapter 20. Now when all the people saw the thunder and the flashes of lightning, and the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, the people were afraid and trembled. And they stood far off and said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen. But do not let God speak to us, lest we die. Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you that the fear of him may be before you, that you may not sin. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from Hebrews 12. For our God is a consuming fire. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from Malachi chapter 3. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for you will be a land of delight, says the Lord of hosts. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. The O Antiphons celebrate the whole Christ. They present aspects of awaiting the Messiah at Christmas, the redemption through the passion and resurrection, and the fulfillment at his return. The past present, and future, revealing all the key moments of salvation history. O Adonai, O Adonai and ruler of the house of Israel, who appeared to Moses in the burning bush, and gave the law on Sinai, come with an outstretched arm, and redeem us. O Adonai and ruler, God fulfilled his promises and redeemed the Israelites from the bondage of Egypt, and he also gave his people the law on Sinai. In fulfillment of his promises, Jesus as Lord also redeems all nations from the bondage of sin by his death on the cross in our place, and by his rising to life from the dead, he gives us life. This antiphon speaks of Jesus as Adonai, or Lord, and ruler. What a picture of the Lord in the aspects of fire. The first aspect of fire is explicit, seen in the burning bush that Moses encountered. The second is, well, less explicit, speaking of Moses up on the mountain receiving the law. That great theophany or revealing of God on Mount Sinai was described almost, well, kind of like a volcano. There are clouds, fire, lightning, trumpet blasts as Moses goes up on the mountain. The people below... They're terrified. They realize that they cannot even touch the base of the mountain because they're not worthy. They're not holy enough to be in God's fiery presence. They knew that they would die. Scripture speaks of God as a consuming fire, a holy fire, and, most blessedly for us, also as a refining fire. Because as a refining fire, he burns away our impurities, our sin, so that we may one day be able to stand before him with hands raised up, praising him on high, 
who has redeemed us from slavery to the devil and has given us the wonderful freedom of life, the freedom that comes with his strong hand and outstretched arm to redeem. It was no accident that the Holy Spirit also descended in the form of tongues of fire. The Holy Spirit enters us as fire in order to bring us up to the glory of God, burning away sinfulness, refining us as pure gold, and enabling us to endure the blazing fire of God's love. On the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus also was there as a, and appeared in the fiery fullness of his glory. There with him was Moses and Elijah, and the sight was witnessed by Peter, John, and James. We need never fear the burning fire of his presence, for his advent coming is ultimately to face the wrath of God against sin for us in our place, so that the fire of his love would purify all our impurities, and this would be done for us on the cross. In true advent preparation we pray, O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, your divine wisdom sets in order all things in heaven and on earth. Put away from us all things hurtful, and give us those things that are beneficial for us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and gracelessly keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.